A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Gaming with Kaiju Force Neo. And right now you can see my Nissan Skyline GTR right here, from the late 90s. It's having some pretty good decorations being put on it, with a Chinese dragon style wrap that I have on here. I'm gonna add a splitter to the front. I'm gonna see if I can get some more aerodynamics by applying stuff here to the front fender. I'm also gonna change the rims give it the 1552 style right here and I'm gonna do the same with the back rims but first I got skid plates over here and gonna change these rims here to the 1552's as well just like the ones in the front yeah it looks like these were the ones here I'm gonna check real quick yeah they look the same so it does seem like I got it done right and I'm gonna see what I can do for the back here and I'm going to add a new exhaust system right here. Add this kind of exhaust to it. As for license plate, and then have myself a good splitter right here. And a spoiler for the back. I got this spoiler right here that's in line with the top of the car right here. And I feel like that should do for now based on looks on the outside. So, I'm going to see what I can do for the inside of the vehicle itself based on performance. Right now, I'm going to give it some new mirrors as well. Soon, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to a different menu, which is going to take me towards performance or tuning. But first, I'm going to go and customize the license plate a bit because I don't like it to have the California plates with the name ghost written on it all the time and I'm gonna change it from ghost to something else how about roach yeah there we go and so roach is going to be the name of this car right here roach which is a Nissan Skyline right here pretty much upgrading everything to max if I can unless if max power parts are not available which some of them are not available but let's see here I'm upgrading to a maximum for this forced induction here then we're going for electrical system then ignition some of these parts here you can unlock via Amy's missions and Amy's missions are going to give you some new parts every time let's see camshaft I'm gonna upgrade because I can't upgrade the engine block all the way up cylinder heads I can upgrade to and exhaust manifold let's see right here and then we got exhaust system which I feel like that's good enough for now but I'm also gonna have to upgrade my tires to drift tires so this way I'll be able to use these tires during drift competitions of any sorts and so I feel like that'll do for now so I'm gonna go back outside in Ventura Bay and I'm going to see what I can accomplish here. And so, here we go. Let's see what I can do here with my new Nissan Skyline right here. With some heavy customizations on the outside and inside to it. So, it just looks amazing right there. With a Chinese dragon sort of style on it. Apparently someone was right in front of me. I'm going to see if I can go kick some dirt up into that person's windshield. <laughs> I don't know. That person's probably taking a break or something. Probably going to the restroom. Let's see. Wow, those drift tires. Holy goodness. Oh my. I tell you, those kind of drift tires, they're really going to help you with preventing from any... Oh, look at that. Apparently... These drift tires allow the car to drift at an even wider ratio. Well, that could be useful on a curve like that, but I wouldn't say for sure with the straightaways here. So, I'm probably just using terms that would be in relation to Hot Wheels hilarity, but this is need for speed. It's probably got no relation to Hot Wheels at all, so it's something else entirely. And need for speed has not even been around for too long compared to Fast and the Furious. 
Yeah, look at that. Look at those drifts that I'm actually going to take place here. So what we got here is we got ourselves a bit more successful. Whoa, okay. I can see for sure that we got ourselves a bit of time. Look at that. It's just with a little bit of luck, we got ourselves a pretty good series that's going to be run down for the rest of this year. And I wouldn't say for sure that the rest of this year would be the end for Gaming with Kaiju Force Neo, because I do want to continue this series for a while. And so, let's see. Okay, it looks like I got myself to this time trial, and it looks like I need less than 250 horsepower to play this event. I mean, I don't know anymore. It's just gotten... They're putting up certain requirements or some sort on here for certain missions, so instead I'm going to go up here. And it looks like it's more, more than two miles. And as you probably just saw right there, the last gaming footage that I had right there just faded into this piece of gaming footage right here and that's because I had to cut my journey there a little bit short so I'm back on need for speed right now and yeah, there's probably gonna be plenty of parts right there because I feel like I gotta explain something right now because as I've said before in the last gaming with Kaiju Force Neo episode that also had need for speed on it and not Ark Survival Evolved you would have heard that I explained how there were certain problems going on with the PlayStation 4's broadcasting system that would allow for me to record gaming footage of any sorts and then eventually copy them down to my USB flash drive which is a SanDisk fast processor unit of 32 gigabyte capacity. So also with the glitches taking place there's apparently something wrong in which that I, every time I press the share button on the PlayStation 4's remote it's just something goes wrong almost every time I do it and every time I press the share button and eventually back out because my the gaming footage would not save a copy to the PlayStation 4's hard drive every time I back out of the share option it would just automatically reset and start recording some new footage which is also stupid something else I also figured out that's quite frustrating as well Every time I try to record something that's nearly an hour in length, it seems that somehow it's automatically cropping down certain footage that I recorded to something lower. Usually goes down to 20 minutes tops, but I don't know what's going on, because I did have it set to record gaming footage of up to 60 minutes in length every time. It looks like I just crashed again because... I tell you, this is kind of a bad situation at this point because even though I haven't played on the PlayStation 4 or recorded any new footage over the last you know few weeks or so, I just can't really tell for sure just why is this happening now when it could have happened a while ago. It was sort of bad enough when I had certain games like Minecraft and Ark Survival Evolved also had a few troubles with this system here, but... Again, I probably will try to work out the kinks and try to see if I can keep recording gaming footage of up to 60 minutes every time, but until then, I'm probably just going to recording gaming footages that are about up to 20 minutes in length, just for now, to find out if the PlayStation 4 is actually trying to do something with all the gaming footage that I'm currently recording at this point. So you can see here, I'm just still cruising down at high speeds over 110 miles an hour on the highway here oh and I just feel like checking up on that oh and it looks like I'm going back to a certain event yeah and you can still see these glitches of which that it's just abruptly cutting to some other point in the footage but that's probably all right I don't know if it's a glitch that's being caused by the server or if it's just the glitch that's taking place because of new software updates but once again it's a bit of it's just a small problem that I got here so for now I'm going to go ahead and go to a different event because apparently this car is well above 250 horsepower and so got ourselves a bit of troubles going on one side 
see there. Whoa, oh, yeah, you see there. Turn around to start event. Yeah. Okay, so I need fully adjustable suspension to play this event. No, no, I'm probably going to have to go back to the garage if I'm going to put fully adjustable suspension on this car, but I'm going to go to another event. Hopefully this one is going to let me start this event without any trouble whatsoever. So I'm going to go right ahead and get onto the freeway and... Yep, you just saw right there. It abruptly cut again. That's another time right there. Probably, it has to be because of the server. I can't really tell for sure, but... Just something's going on, really. You can see right here, though, that I'm going... Oh! Oh my gosh, look at that crash. I totally would have decimated that car right there. That I ran into. And yeah, it keeps abruptly cutting like that. Somehow. Which seems a bit frustrating at this point, because I do not want to have any strange, crappy, or ton-looking footage right here. I really would not want to have footage on here that looks as if it would make me an amateur at this, but once again, let's see what I can do with making the kinks out here. So, looks like I just crashed again. Alright, so I'm going to turn around and get myself back on the route that would take me straight towards the, the event that I'm going to. And it looks like it's going to be light out again. Oh, goodness. So you can see right here that it's, it's just getting a little bit rough out here. Even though it's going to be lighter outside. And so what we got here is that... There's just more coming into play here. And looks like I'm almost there. It looks like I found my way there now. Oh, goodness. Overshot at this time. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to start. Here we go. Chasing right, devils. And of course, this is one of those events where you'd have to follow a group of racers while earning drift points just like that let's see how well i can do here of course it would mean that you'd have to keep following this group of cars here and if you are too far back or if you're too far up front then you're not going to get any points but of course there's going to be times where that message will appear on screen telling you to stay with the group to earn points but because i've had few months worth of gaming experience out of here it's pretty safe to say that I'm probably gonna do well in this event I mean look at right now I have more than 34,000 points out of 73,000 that I'm gonna need now it's 38,000 48,580 and about to cross another checkpoint I'm just rapidly making my way up until the target score 73,000 points and they say that this event is hard but I can't really tell for sure because of how easy it seems to be for me so I'm gonna continue going on here it's like I'm at 69,607 I already made my way up to 71,838 points and it looks like I just surpassed the goal by over 1,600 points and I'm continuing to climb up rack up as many points as I can before time runs out or before I cross all the checkpoints and you can see here I'm over 21,000 points above the target score 24,000 points above the target score now and it's counting still so you can tell right there I'm doing very well at these challenges that claim to be hard but I would say that's not at all true considering how well I'm doing right here and considering how I've got over 35,000 points above the target score. And it looks like it is still counting, even though I'm not past all the checkpoints yet. And so, let's see here. And it looks like I won. Over 111,000 points, and I just succeed the mission right here. I just succeeded the mission. 
And it looks like I also escaped from a few cops, so I feel like that just about wraps it all up. And so, I hope that you continue to enjoy my series here. And I hope that you continue to enjoy Gaming with Kaiju Force Neo as a whole, because there are going to be more episodes around. And if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.